Hi, this is Stacy Moore and welcome to another version of an Oreo Minute. Today we have Miss Brackman. She's a fourth grade teacher at White Oak Elementary School. And today Miss Brackman is going to talk to us about the Bridges and Mathematics program. Welcome. Thank you. I would like to share a success story from the Bridges and Mathematics program. I have a student in my class who typically struggles with math. And um, recently we were working on two digit times two digit multiplication. And um, the Bridges program introduces students to many different strategies where they learn the, um, the skill conceptually, where they understand it conceptually. And I have uh, one student in my class, like I said, who typically struggles, who was actually uh, the master in my class, um, the leader at this strategy called Open Arrays. Um, she actually uh, became the leader. Other kids in the class were coming up and asking her how it worked. Um, and after the math period that day, she came up and she said, uh, this is the first time math has made sense to me. And she actually said, can we do this every day? Um, so that was uh, something she wouldn't have got, an experience she wouldn't have gotten without the Bridges program. Um, and it really made a difference for her. And it's a strategy that she can now use um, in the future as she's solving two digit times two digit multiplication problems. Great example. So as a parent, you may see a lot of these strategies coming home and you may be thinking, how do I do this? Or I never learned this in school. And same with me, I never learned these strategies in school either. Um, but I think it's important to know that as students are learning these conceptual strategies, they will make the connection to the standard algorithm at the end. Um, and it will allow them to better understand the standard, standard algorithm at the end. They'll be able to understand conceptually what they're actually doing um, when they solve using a standard algorithm. Welcome to another Oriel Minute. Today we have Sycamore Elementary's kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Brader here, and she's going to talk about the Bridges and Mathematics program. Welcome. Welcome, hello. Um, one thing I love about the Bridges program, it's so hands-on. I was the student growing up that could be told something a hundred times, but fully didn't grasp the concept until something was put in front of me. That's what Bridges is. I have students in my class who came in, didn't know how to write numbers, didn't know how to identify numbers. These same kids are able to look at a tens frame and instantly identify the number representative represented. Also, these students are doing addition. They're using number racks, then using their whiteboards to represent that the addition problem. That's mind blowing to me that these kindergartners, these five and six year olds are able to do things that I know I wasn't doing in kindergarten. Not only are they doing math problems and enjoying it, they go to math stations and these are games. It's hands-on learning and the kids are having fun. And if they can have fun while learning, then that's the kind of program I want them to be doing. At the beginning of each unit, we send out, our kindergarten group sends out um, the unit overview. On that unit overview, it explains everything we're going to be covering over that unit, as well as a link for parents to use to go on the website and kind of explore themselves and look at some of the examples of what we'll be doing in the classroom. Welcome to a new version of an Oreo Minute. Today, we have Mrs. Melissa Joseph, a first grade teacher here at White Oak Elementary. Hello. Hi there, I'm so excited to talk about my experience with Bridges. Um, this is my fourth year teaching. So my first two years I was at a Catholic school. So math was kind of on my own. There was no curriculum. Then I came to Avon last year and I kind of adapted to that. And now here we are with Bridges. So I'm kind of coming with a neat perspective because I've seen three very different ways of teaching math. And I would say Bridges is definitely my favorite and kind of goes with my teaching style. I really believe in lots of hands-on and purposeful and meaningful activities and Bridges gives us just that. The kids, especially in first grade, they are busy little bees and they need to be moving and Bridges does that. So how I start my day is we do number corner. So it kind of just goes right from morning meeting. Um, they're all very into it and it's kind of something scary getting started because it's a lot more math time that we're used to. So thinking of my 30 little ones and thinking, oh my my goodness how am I gonna make this fun and engaging and get it all in and I have been able to do that so that's been a success um, but they love it they look forward to it even if I'm not here and I don't have the subdue number corner I'll come back the next day and number corner has been completed so the kids really really look forward to it um, workstations are wonderful 
They really, really like them. They love working in partners and I really work to match them with someone that might not be at their same level. So they're helping each other and growing and it's just such a booming place. When you walk around, the kids are talking and they're using those math terms. I agree, I disagree, I notice. So I definitely think just in the um, 58 days we've been in school, I've really seen them blossom as mathematicians and they're just so excited about math. The new thing is they all write the date on their paper. So being able to do that in first grade is very big. I tell them they're like middle schoolers and they love it. So just having those little things that they're doing on their own, even without that teacher direction has been very successful and just that love for math. I think it all starts here with the little ones and I think Bridges is helping to blossom that. Excellent, thank you.